In this video, we'll show you how to add a navigation menu to your WordPress site and then add custom link events to menu items. Now to get started, let's head over to our WordPress dashboard. And then from here, we're going to go to Appearance and then Menus. Menus are specific to each theme, so yours might look a little bit different. Now to create a new one, we're going to give it a name and then click Create Menu. If you're using the 2020 theme like I am in this video, you're going to see a list of options to choose from. Now we're going to choose to work with the horizontal desktop menu. Then on the left, we'll see all the items that can be added to the menu. You can add any page, popular post, custom links. Some people like to add their social media profiles as custom links. And you can also add categories. So for instance, on Monster Insights under Features, you'll see menu items that'll take you to its main features. So you can choose the items that you'd like to include in your menu by filtering them by most recent, view all, and search. All right, now we can pick a few to add to the menu. If you want to enter a custom link, you can just type in the URL. And if you'd like to add social media icons, just visit the link in the description on how to add social media icons to your menu. All right, now we're going to add a category to the menu. And as I'm adding menu items, you'll notice that they appear here. We can easily rearrange them by left-clicking and dragging them up or down. And because page and post names can be long, they might not look great in the menu. So if you see a menu item that looks a little bit too big, you can easily edit the text that will be displayed in the menu. Now to position a menu item under another item, you can easily create a drop-down by left-clicking and then dragging it toward the right. And you'll notice that it has an indention. Now to delete a menu item, click on the triangle to expand it and see the additional options that allow you to move them up or down or delete them from the menu. And once you're done, just be sure to save the edits. If your theme has widgets, you can add custom menus to your sidebar or your footer widget area. This theme has a footer 1 and footer 2 areas. Now many people create a separate menu specifically for their legal policies like their privacy policy, terms of service, and other things like that. All you have to do is select that from the drop-down and then save it. All right, now we're going to look at how you can add custom link attribution events to your WordPress navigation menu and then track them in Google Analytics. So to make it a little easier to follow, we'll be using the screenshots from our article, and you'll find the link to that article in the description. Now, by adding custom events to WordPress menu items, you can track clicks on call-to-action links, links to high-value pages, and other essential pages. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about adding custom link attributions, like setting up custom link categories, labels, and actions, and to find out which events Monster Insights automatically adds to Google Analytics, you can visit the link in the description. All right, now to get started, you'll need to have the latest version of Monster Insights installed, activated, and connected with Google Analytics. All right, custom event tracking link follows this formula. Now to add a custom link attribution to one of your navigation links, you can use the following code to add it to your theme's function PHP file, or you can use a custom functionality plugin. To learn more about using a custom functionality plugin, We've left a link in the description. All right, this code adds custom link attributions to the menu item with the ID of 1075. To add custom link attributions to three links, you can use the following code. Now, as a note, the value menu target and the value item ID number to the right of the double equal signs has to be replaced with the ID numbers of the menu items. So in this example, we'll be adding custom link attributes to three different menu items with IDs 1075, 2725, and 1109. Then we're adding a category of CTA to all links and a unique custom label to each link. All right, to do this, just follow these seven steps. First, you'll need to find the ID of the navigation menu items in WordPress on your site. So right click on the navigation menu item in your web browser. Next, you'll need to click inspect or inspect element. Then you're going to see the source code for the site. Now we'll be looking for the unique ID number associated with the link element that WordPress assigns to the menu link elements. And as you can see in this example, it's 1102. All right, keep in mind that you'll need to be sure to use your own unique ID numbers for your specific navigation links, and you'll want to replace the label with whatever makes sense for your site or remove it to leave the default. You can also add a custom event action or leave the default. This typically defaults to the full URL of the link. And next, you'll need to navigate to the functions PHP file of your theme or, again, use a functionality plugin and insert your own code that you've customized for your site. Now, if you only need to track one or two menu items, the other else if statements can be removed. And you can feel free to add more else if statements. Just remember that it's best to only track important events. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of 
irrelevant data that'll be clouding your decision. All right, that's it for this video. Now, you don't want to miss the opportunity to get Monster Insights at a discounted price, so be sure to check out the discount link in the description. And to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click one of the videos on your screen now.